Hello, my name is Eduardo and I am here with another App Inventor tutorial. Well, today I have a tutorial about collision boxes, okay? Well, or collisions in App Inventor. First, I'm going to show you this, okay? To explain you a little bit about the collisions. So, for example, imagine that this is my sprite that I'm going to use in my canvas, in my game, in App Inventor, okay? And this is the main character, okay? This is this dinosaur, and this is going to be the enemy, okay? As you see, this enemy is a ball, okay, or a circle, and this is the dinosaur that it has a very uh, different form. But, but, for the collisions in App Inventor and in other kind of uh, uh, software, okay, you call these things the collision box, a box, because check, we have a box around our objects. Okay. So now, that means that you are going to detect, or App Inventor is going to detect a collision when two sprites or images overlap. So this is okay and this is good, for example, if this happens here. But what if you have in this part your dinosaur? Before this dinosaur, for example, jumps, and imagine that it's going to jump, and then you touch in here. So App Inventor, it will detect a collision. But this is not like very realistic because you are not touching with the circle, you are not touching the dinosaur. So that it's not a good idea. So how can we fix this? Well, there are many uh, different ways. I'm sure to fix this okay so and today I'm going to show you one way to solve this kind of problem or to improve so we are going to do this we are going to export our PNG for example I have this one and I have my uh, my uh, ball and that's it so I'm going to export them and I'm going to import them into App Inventor but also I will export another one that this is going to help us another sprite this is going to be a blank sprite this sprite it's the one that we are going to use okay to detect the collision with the main character sprite so well i'm going to explain you here in app inventor uh, what i am talking about so i'm going to export this as a blank sprite i'm going to show you how and then it will have uh, it will have the same position of the dinosaur in X and Y and it will have the same height but I don't want it to have the same width so I just I am planning to have the main body for the collision to be like something like this so when you have it here you won't have any collision and maybe not even here okay so, but I am thinking about this part. So, and when they collide here, yes, they will have, we will have a collision. So, basically, we are going to have the same height of this sprite. And we are going to have the position in X, but we are going to move it a little bit to the right. So, we are going to increase the value in X. And it will be like, um, talking about the width, it will be like half of the sprite, more or less and then we just position it over here, okay? So now, how can I export this thing? Well, the first thing that I recommend for you to make these adjustments, okay? We're going to use uh, only App Inventor, well, Inkscape just to export the graphics. We're going to make first this uh, collision and we're going to export it, okay? With a color, so you just select a color and give some transparency to this color so I will give it like 60 and then we are going to export it select export and then you go here and then you write it like collision and let's call it collision hang that's it and then we are going to go to App Inventor and then in App Inventor I will show you this uh, we are going to upload select and we say collision pink check is this sprite we import it and that's it now uh, I was working with another one so I'm just going to disable this and I'm going to hide it well now 
we're going to draw another sprite this is just for the example so and then we are going to assign here the collision pink and then you have this kind of thing okay in a pigment now let's go to the project and I'm going to explain you because I have done some things so first I have here canvas I have the sprite of my dinosaur then uh, this is the one that I was testing don't worry I have ball one okay this is the one that I want uh, to use to test the collision ball two and ball three is just to show you if we are colliding or not okay so I will explain you in a moment about that don't pay attention to them uh, right now so then image sprite let's call it blank sprite and that's it so don't worry about the values over there then we go here trap inventor I have so uh, I have done some things here so I use this kind of uh, result procedure to this canvas width times 0.3 so that is the 30 percent of the the width of the screen or the canvas okay so um, we are going to use this to resize uh, the dino sprite width okay so I want my uh, dino to be just uh, 30 percent of the width of the screen and I'm going to use the same value for the height, the width of the Dino that we calculate in the step before and that's it because it is like a square so that's why I am using these values then the position I just said it at the 15% uh, of the screen remember it's like the 50% of the screen here at the, uh, at the half of the screen talking about the Y axis and then I was using the same for the collision so don't pay attention to collision right now let's work with sprite so we want to have the sprite the same uh, position in the y-axis as the dinosaur okay so we are going to go here and we are going to assign in this case the uh, dino but the y yes let me just increase the size of this inventor we can see this let's do it and that's it it has the same position okay uh, blank sprite has the same y so now for the x we're going to adjust it by hand duplicate x and then we are going to use the same okay if you check we are going to use the same x we're going to increase this value so the position of this of the di dinosaur in X, but remember we don't want to have the same position. We just want to have to move it some sprites to the right. Okay, not here. So move it to the right. So we have to increase the value of the X. Remember values to the right get bigger. Okay, uh, talking about the X axis. So now let's increase it. So um. We can increase this using this same procedure that we have from here. So we are going to use canvas width times uh, 0.05, that it's like the 5% of the screen. So it's moving like that. Let's see what happens when we uh, do this block. Check in the app, and that's it, it's moving. If we have it in the normal position in the X, we have it like that. So same position in X, but we want to move it just a little bit. So you are going to be like adjusting this. Now we need to, to scale the blank sprite. So for that, or to do that, we're going to go here. We are going to work with, with. So basically we're going to put this here first, the width. So we want to have the same width. Well, let's work with height first. Height, the same wide, uh, height of the dinosaur. Let's do it. And that's it it looks quite the same so but remember we don't want it to be like that we want it to be like half of the dinosaur for the width so we're going to use since we duplicate these ones then we change to width and then we're going to use here yeah, we're going to divide this value the dinosaur value divided by two and then we do it just to check everything it's okay and it looks pretty good now we have to move it right so now we have to move it 
and that's it. So now let's refresh the screen and to see what happened when we uh, refresh. So let's refresh this and we have over there. So I like that position. I guess it looks pretty good. So I don't want to have a collision when we touch the head of the dinosaur, but only uh, if we touch with the legs of the dinosaur, okay? Not even the tail. So, and that's the way. Now, how, how can we make this thing like invisible? Well, it's pretty simple. So we return, see if we are happy with the position of this, we have to return to App Inventor and then we're going to select this guy. Then select it and then here you touch this uh, cross or X and it is like uh, transparent. You just select file, export, then you just uh, here override this, replace, that's it. Then we go to App Inventor and we are going to upload the transparent file. So here, check. Now it is not pink, but well. Change the name. Uh, would you like to replace this thing? Okay, now request. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. Well, now let's see if this is working or not. Now you don't have this sprite, but it's obviously there. Now we need to check the collision. For that, I just make something very simple in App Inventor. I uh, use a clock, the two balls that remember, we have two balls. We have this ball that is the blue one that it's going to detect uh, the collisions with the real dinosaur, okay? And collision uh, with the red ball. Red ball is going to detect if we have a collision with the new blank box. So now let's go here. So now here first we have this clock that it's going to uh, make uh, invisible the ball two and the ball three, and then it's going to disable the clock. Now we're going to drag the ball, the white ball that this is like the enemy. So we're not going to make a game. So this is just to test the collision okay so now when we drag okay i just use these values uh, uh, just to avoid to have the finger over the ball and then we're going to use this when ball one i mean the white ball or the enemy ball uh, collides with something okay so let's say collides with dino sprite okay with the normal sprite the dinosaur sprite we want to turn the red ball, uh, the blue ball, to true. Is red? Yes. Well, let's see. And to display uh, a message in the screen title that it's normal sprite collision. And then, if we have a collision with the blank sprite that we have created, we want to make visible the ball three and a message just to confirm this. Um, of course, we enable the clock. Let's put it over there. And after that, the clock uh, show uh, hides the balls. Now let's check how this thing works. So first, let's drag the ball, and let's check if we have a collision here. Yes, this is the false collision. Remember? So check. It looks pretty fake. Now, what about the other one? This is the red one. It is more accurate. So check, check here. This is the the dinosaur's original collision box. And if we move, 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 and we touch here, we have this one, the blank uh, sprite collision. Even if we touch the head, we don't have any collision because we don't want it to have it. Of course, you can make a, a, a more complex collision box if you just uh, join some uh, boxes okay so but it's I prefer to have something simple like that so real collision fake collision oh, well, let's hide them let's wait for the clock so and I guess it looks pretty good that so you can see the difference with this check this is not okay I remember when I was uh, making with this kind of a uh, crown dinosaur game I had this problem because sometimes you touch the tail or here 
and you were uh, app inventor was detecting a collision and it was like kind of frustrating now you can have a more accurate collision so well that is just this kind of suggestion for app inventor how to improve your collision boxes in app inventor now it's time for you to create a game or app okay and improve these kind of collisions or detection of collisions in app inventor for your games well my name is eduardo thanks for watching this tutorial see you next time